in these problems, we are raising some powers to powers, and we have some rational or fractional exponents. Remember, when you raise a power to a power, you multiply the exponents. So if we take a look at this first problem, we've got x to the 1 half, we've got z to the negative 5 fourths, and both of those parts are being raised to the fourth power. So we're going to take this 4 and multiply it by the 1 half, and multiply it by the negative 5 fourths. And then it's going to get a little more complicated because we're not allowed to use negative exponents in our answers, but we'll figure that out when we get to it. Let's start with the multiplying the exponents. 1 half times 4 is 2. So this first part right here is just x squared. And negative 5 fourths times 4, well the 4 is cancel there, so you get z to the negative fifth power. Okay, so we've raised this expression to the fourth power. Now we just need to rewrite what we've got here uh, without negative exponents. And in this case, we've got, this is a multiplication problem, so we've got x squared times z to the fifth. We can just move uh, z to the negative fifth, I mean, we can just move z to the negative fifth to the bottom of a fraction and make the power positive. So this is z to the fifth power. In case that's confusing, because I, I sort of skip, skipped a step in there, you can think of this as like x squared times 1 over z to the fifth. And then I just multiply those two together, and the x squared ends up on the top of that fraction. All right, let's try one more. Over here, it's a little more complicated because we're raising something to a fractional power. But uh, the process is still the same. We're going to multiply the exponents. So we're going to multiply the 3 fourths by the negative 1 fifth here, and we're going to multiply the 3 fourths by the 2. So 3 fourths times a negative 1 fifth is going to be a negative, well 3 times 1 is 3, and 4 times 5 is 20. So our power for z here is negative 3 twentieths. And the x squared, a little bit easier, 3 fourths times x squared is going to be, well, 3 fourths times a 2 is 6 fourths. But we can simplify that, oops, 6 fourths, to 3 halves. So this is x to the 3 halves power. Now we've got one of these variables with a positive exponent and one with a negative exponent. We'll do the same thing we did last time. We'll just take this chunk and move it down to the bottom of a fraction and make the power positive. So x to the 3 halves stays on top of the fraction. And z is now to the positive 3 twentieths when we move it down to the bottom of the fraction. And that is our answer with positive exponents. So that's a little bit more work with some rational exp exponents, this time raising powers to other powers.